Ruth! What? There's a small chance of Adrian becoming the captain. There's another contender in the running. Who? It's Vincent. Literally how? The Mafia Bride. Well, after Lana has recovered from being, you know, protecting Adrian, Lana herself in the hospital with that bullet getting taken out of her. She's now part of the family for the Beyond Cheese. We've we learned about her past. She does not even know who her father is. Why is she being forced to take care of his dead? She has never even met the man. He doesn't even know she exists. So it was the mother. But the Beyond Cheese knew about this. If you didn't see the other ones, go catch up. This probably doesn't make sense unless you've seen that little part here. But people were having a good theory in the comments. I wonder if Mr. Beyond Cheese is her father or there's something up with her heritage. Like she's, her father was like deep in the mafia or something. Now Vincent's up for the role apparently. So let's see what happens with that. And let's start the drama. Vincent nominated himself for the position of capo. You know what this means? That you should have taken him out of the party when you had the chance. He won't do that. No. Did I hear that right? Without the Salvador support, the Morettis will have to put their all on the line to make Adrian win this election now. Does that mean Adrian won't be the next capo? Deep breath, Solara. We don't know anything for sure yet. You... Why are you pointing at us? This is all because of you and you're still shamelessly wandering in my house. What are you talking about? I was supposed to marry the capo, not a random person who was in the running. How is that our fault? What did we do? What? Okay. Because of you, my future is ruined. I know you ruined your own future. Vincent is too powerful and everyone will support him to become the capo, says who? Calm down. Come on, Ruth. We have a meeting with the council of the Cosa Nostra. All of us will be voting for the family that should be stay reigning. Fine, let's go. You know what, though? They deserve this. I really do. I'm not done with you yet. Don't even worry, because we are not done with you yet, either. This is what you wanted, right? You should have more faith in Adrian, Alara. He knows what he's doing, and Vincent's filthy ways won't hold Adrian back. You think you know everything, huh? You can play wife as much as you want, and you will never get to marry Adrian. Well, at this point, neither will you, so what are you talking about? No one cares if you took a bullet for him. A lot of servants die for the people they serve. And you're just one of them, Lana Rossi. I'm the one who belongs by Adrian's side. I will be his wife no matter what. Weren't you just talking about how you didn't want to marry the nobody? You need to face the truth, Alara. You can never be Adrian's wife. We have something you will never understand. Oh, and why is that? What makes you so certain? I don't expect someone like you to understand what Adrian and I have. You're just being delusional. Are you talking about yourself? Are we? Are you looking in a mirror? Like, who are you calling delusional? No, Alara, I'm being real. Adrian is mine. Ooh, and no matter how hard you try, you can never change that fact. The tension in the room escalates as the confrontation continues. The truth is, you've never had a chance with Adrian, Alara. It's crystal clear that he doesn't want you. You're just manipulating him. This one ends here, Lena. I'll fight for him. For what? Why are you going to fight for him? You don't care about him. You care about his money and his status. You can bark all you want. <gasps> oh, but in the end, he will always choose me. That's right, period. Take that, Alara. Staying in the house is getting harder and harder each passing day. That little girl is going to try it and we are done with her. I'm not sure if I should now text Adrian or not. Maybe I should. Are you doing okay with the news? It's just Vincent's lame attempt to retaliating. Exactly. He's crossing all the limits. What are you going to do now? Tonight was a success for us. Oh, but it doesn't end here. Vincent has bigger connections in Costa Nostra. How? And to fight him, we need the support of the boss. Okay, I have a question though. If this boy had all these connections, why wasn't he the first in the running in the first place? The boss. Yes, the boss of the rival mob. If I get his support, I'll be able to beat Vincent in a flash. I'm having a meeting with him in the morning. Let me come with you and I won't take no- Why do you want to go with him? Okay, I'll pick you up in the morning. Okay. At least tomorrow I won't have to deal with Alara for a day. If you insist. I wake up at the crack of dawn to accompany Adrian on his meeting. Okay, let's let's go see what we're gonna do. Ready to go? Always. We got a cute outfit though. The sun comes up as we drive to meet Mr. Victor Antonov. I occasionally glance at Adrian. Just being in his presence makes him feel at peace.
I'm sure, well, peace. I don't know about peace, but how does a mobster work from a place like this? A lot of people in the mafia have legitimate businesses. It's a process they all follow. Mr. Moretti? Yes, that's me. I'm here to meet Mr. Antonov. I don't work here, but you can meet Mr. Argov? Okay. Interesting. We head inside to meet Argov. Oh, it's the right hand. I, mean, I thought we were using like fake names. Do you think this rivalry is mendable? Not really, but we don't know unless I try to mend it. But I really need to speak to Mr. Victor. We turn around and see a middle-aged man. He looks at us with scrutiny, his eyes mostly on Adrian. Adrian Moretti, I was expecting you. I don't think he's registered my presence. Mr. Argov, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'll say the same here once I know your intentions, Mr. Moretti. Oh. The man's gaze finally lands on me as he takes my presence. He gasps. Rosa? Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse him? I'm not Rosa. I'm Lana. I'm sorry, young lady. You reminded me of someone. Now, hold up. Mr. Argov, I really need to speak to Mr. Victor. Both of our families have suffered due to this feud for years. Don't you think it's time we end it? I understand your point of view, but Mr. Victor is not sure of working with you. Okay. Oh, we need to go to Italy? It's been years now. Victor calls Italy his home. So how does he still have such a grasp on America then? Dear child, in my entire life, I've never met a man like Victor. He could rule the world if he wanted to. Then why doesn't he? America's only a small feather in his hat. All I can do for you is schedule a meeting with him, but we have to go to Italy. Okay, fine. We'll go there. Set it up. Thank you, Mr. Argov. That was weird. It was very strange. I know it was weird that he thought he knew you. He said, Rosa, that's my mother's middle name. The problem is how we go to Italy in midst of these wedding preparations. What wedding? If only I had Mr. Antonov's support, I could break this alliance with Bianchi's in a snap. Even the marriage. Even the marriage. Okay, let's do this. Victor's backing is all I need. In that case, I have an idea. Let's move the wedding party to Italy. This will be ideal for seeking Victor's help in disguise for the wedding. Now that was an idea. You're a genius, Lena. Or should we say Rosa? I can't believe you came up with that. I said you can count on me. Okay, so you know where she did, she did something good for her. Oh. Oh. Always. Oh my. Oh. Oh my goodness. I know. Always. Wow. What's happening here? Hey, you. What were you saying? Adrian won't marry me belongs to you? Yeah, I guess he's getting married in an Italian mansion. <laughs> Poor girl. If only she knew, even though it was my plan, hearing her say that still hurts. Congratulations, Ilara. Oh, she thinks it's so funny. Girl, did you hear that? That was a sound of victory. It was the sound of loss. I really hope Mr. Antona finds a way to help Adrian. Oh, we will. We'll do this. I sent you a cab. Come soon. Oh, hey, Lana. Good morning, Mr. Bianchi. I hope you're excited for Italy. Alara is delighted to get married there. <laughs> I'm happy for her. I hope the wedding can be planned in such a short time. We're taking care of it, but we're going to have multiple parties, so pack accordingly. I will need your passport to proceed with the bookings, okay? I hope you'll enjoy yourself. Oh, enjoying Alara's wedding festivities is the last thing I want to do. But here's the thing. We are going to enjoy them so much when that wedding is canceled. I can't believe you playing this with Adrian. He really needs my support right now. We have to get him out of this wedding. I wish I could come with you to Italy. Now let's start packing. I have just a thing for you. A killer outfit. Oh, do we get all of these? A few days later. I thought you'd be happy about this, Ruth. I'm happy Alara is getting married, but I'm not happy that she's getting married in Italy. Now why is that? Now, why is that? And the Morettis also refused to sign the marriage certificate here in the U.S. Relax, Ruth. The wedding's in five days. Adrian can't back out now. I can only help so by you. <laughs> Bye, Ruth. Hey, Lynn, over here. I have an empty seat right here. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. There's no way you're sitting with my fiance. The fight is 10 hours long. I can't sit besides Ruth. He invited me. I miss fiance. I should sit next to him. If you take a step forward, I will wreck you. Oh, I already bought the, the outfit pack, so no, you can stay with him. He's your fiance after all. Thought so. You can have your last laugh. 
You really can because this is the last life you're ever going to have, Ilara. We land in Florence and the Marie's beautiful Italian mansion. I take in the amazing view. Even then, I couldn't take my mind off one thing. Why did that man call me Rosa? Did he know my mother? I have to talk to her. Hey, Mom. Lena, where are you? I'm in Florence. Just landed. Florence, are you out of your mind? Why did you go there? Why are you getting so worked up? Adrian and Alara's wedding is happening in Italy, and of course I'm invited. Lana, don't get involved in anything that doesn't concern you. Honey, let Adrian marry Alara. The world is cruel to outsiders. You don't want that fate. Do you understand me? But take care, sweetheart. Remember that I love you. Do you? She's getting cryptic each passing day. What is... Can she just say what's going on? The cryptic, it never works. It just doesn't. It's so lonely here without Peyton. Um, yeah. Senora, the young master has requested to see you in his room. Oh, okay, you mean Adrian? See, he has also sent this for you. What's this? The girl sits down in a box. I miss you already come and see me. He's invited me to his bedroom? Oh my. I see. Step towards the hot tub and his eyes dart to me. The soft inviting glow of the lights. Oh, there you are. Did you like my gift? Oh, I love it. Oh, she looks good as they enter the hot tub. Adrian's watchful eyes staring fixed on me. You look gorgeous. Tell us something we don't know. Thank you. You to Italy in your wedding. That was so fake. <laughs> I'm not cheering for that tonight. I want to celebrate the beautiful woman in front of me. I gasp at Adrian's words and he steps closer to me. He gently moves his strand of hair away from my face as the gap closes between us. Adrian, you know, Alana, everyone always said there's no way to find love in the messed up world of the underworld. But yeah, here you are. And when my mother died, my dad married Livia for an alliance and he expected me to do the same. Oh, that's a plot twist I didn't know about. But everything changed the day you walked into my life. The night while saving you from the goons, it felt like I had a purpose. I've been here since the moment we met, Adrian. I will fight for us, Lena. You're mine. Now they lace in the arms, pulling closer. Oh, she's wrapping the legs around the waist. The lips graze mine as he plants a soft kiss on my neck. It's getting late. Maybe I should head back. I'm glad we got to have this time to ourselves. Oh, y'all have some fun. Adrian's surprised. Look who's here. Come meet your old man. Oh, that's my grandpa. Hell will break loose if he sees you here with me. 